fifth graders. How are you? What's happening, Mr. Serpico? Coming at you from Radnor Elementary School. We are going to do another math lesson today, lesson 1.2. We're going to continue with our place value study. The learning targets for the lesson are, I can identify the place value of any digit in numbers through 10 million. I can read and write numbers to 10 million in expanded form. So we're going to take a new look at a form of a number today. The vocabulary you want to be mindful of are place, value, and expanded form. Let's get rolling. So this is a fun uh, problem of the lesson, stimulating warm-up story at my friend's expense. Mr. Goldstein is a great friend of ours uh, from, from Wayne Elementary School, Wes, Wes fifth grade. Um, we've been working together for a long time. And Mr. Goldstein does have a giant bag of candy and asked his students to count up how many pieces of candy he had. He told them they could have all the candy if they counted it correctly, every piece. How many candies were there? Here are the clues. The digit in the ones place is shaped like a seven. The digit in the tens place rhymes with a bee's home. The digit in the hundred thousands place is the same as the past tense of the verb eat. The digit in the hundreds place is the first even number. The digit in the ten thousands place is triple the digit in the hundreds place. And the digit in the thousands place is one more than zero. How many candies will the class get? Now, pause that, solve it, or if you want, watch the whole lesson and come back to this at the end. Talk to your teacher about it in the small group. There is uh, a fun activity for you guys to do uh, with this lesson. And uh, you guys can, can have some fun with that. Apply what you learn from this lesson and circle back with your teacher in the small group if you get the right answer. So let's take a look at, at this next slide here for place value and watch as I demonstrate how this chart works. You've seen some charts in the past few days using manipulatives. Uh, we're moving from the, from the concrete to the abstract here. Um, there's a little tip here. Each digit from 0 through 9 of a number has a value and a place. So the place value, we're starting at 100,000 down to 1s, 100,000. So if we think of this, if we think of this in the, in the periods when we, when we thought about periods before, so here's your thousands place and here's your ones place. So I would say this 861,257, 861,257. So I'm going to take the numbers out of my chart. I need to grab a, a different pen here. And I've got, I've got 800,000. I've got six ten thousands, 1,000, 200, five tens, and I've got seven ones. Now let me switch to my arrow here so I can drag and drop. Uh, the value is times one for the ones. Times 100 would be over here, right? The hundredth place. 100,000 over here. Tens, thousands, and ten thousands. So 8 times 100,000 would give me this. Eight times, 8 times 100,000 would give me this 800,000. 6 times 10,000 would give me... Six ten thousands, one times a thousand will give me one thousand, two times one hundred, two hundred, and so on and so forth. So we're thinking about breaking down these numbers into categories of place value. And if you just think of these as single digits, what what group or what number grouping would you put them into? So drag the place value multipliers to the great correct place. That's what we just did. We're going to take another look at some of these. Uh, examples in the slides that follow. Okay, some guided learning. 
fill in the blanks, if you will, complete in 670,932, the value of the digit six is what? Well, let's, let's break it down. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. Two, the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. So the correct answer behind this green block should be up. Oh, I've got the spinning wheel. Six hundred thousand. The value of the digit is six hundred thousand. In nine hundred thirty-seven thousand sixteen, the digit blank is in the hundreds place. So I take my uh, take my tool here, and I've got. I've got ones, I've got tens, I've got hundreds. They're asking me for hundreds of the digit. This should be the digit zero, right? Let's see if I can throw this. There we go. All right, so zero is in the hundreds place. Let's play, we're, we're playing golf. Here's the hole. Let's see if I can get this, uh, get this next box in the hole here. So. 124,573, the digit in the 100,000s place is what? Take a minute to look at that. Digit in the 100,000th place. Should it be one? Should it be the one, which would equal 100,000? So the digit should be one. All right, let's see if I can get it up there. I'll bounce off the top. All right, so one was correct. Why don't you take a minute and think about think about how you would answer these last two. Make a note of it in your notebook. Be ready to discuss with your teacher in a small group. These two answers, four and five. All right. So it's a little bit different, this page. So let's look at the directions. Guided learning, state the value of the digit two in each number. Looking at number six, 812,679. What's the value of the two there? Well, I'm thinking thousands place, but they want to know the value of the digit two. I think the correct answer here is 2,000. Yeah, 2,000. And number seven, 260,153. What is the value of the digit two in that number? Take a minute to think. What place value is it in? What is the value of the digit two? Should be 200,000, right? There we go. Let's look at number eight. 827,917, the value of the two there. If you want to stop and jot that down, test yourself before you hear the answer, should be 20,000. Now, the directions change, if you notice, from here to here. Each For each number, state the place the digit two is in. The place that it's in. So they're looking for the place value. And number nine, 182,679. I'm thinking the place there is the period of the thousands. And it's in just the first section of the thousands. So I'm going to go with thousands. And there it is. Take a minute to think about number 10 and 11 in case you were misunderstanding what they were asking for number nine. I know this sometimes gets a little confusing. What is the place the two is in in number 10? Take a minute to think. If I were to think my way through this, I would say ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. My guess would be hundred thousands. And I'm sure many of you at home figured that out. And then naturally the last one, go ahead and stop and jot that down in your notebook. If you're following along with your notes like you should be, 
bringing your notes to your meetings with your teachers. And that should be the two is in the 10,000th place. Okay. And we're going to look at another few examples. Identify the value and place of each digit in a number to the millions place. All right. So I think there's some goodies down below here that I can't quite see. Yeah, there they are. All right. So one million, <clears throat> one million times one million, right? I'll grab this over here. Start with the greatest place value. We have six hundred thousands, and we'll drag and drop hundred thousands. We've got. Four ten thousands for my forty thousand and we've got nine thousands. I'm just gonna hold on to the pen. Zero hundreds, zero tens, and zero ones. <clears throat> zero times a hundred is a hundred. Zero times ten. Oh, zero times 100 is zero. Zero times 10 is zero. I misspoke. Zero times one is zero. And then nine times the 1,000 will give me that 9,000. The last thing I want to do is I want to look at my periods. And I want to put the comma in there, 164,000. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that. See, you got to slow down. You got to count from right to left for that. So we got 1,649,000. That's it. 1,649,000. All right. Just goes to show you, you can make a mistake. It's very easy to make a mistake if you're not slowing down and checking your work and really thinking about what you're doing. The important thing is that you catch it. Right? You only catch it. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect in fifth grade. I've yet to meet a perfect fifth grader. I've yet to meet a perfect teacher. I make dozens of mistakes every day. You should ask my wife. But you learn from them. Fail it, then nail it. That's what we say. All right, so let's look at this one. Write the numbers to 10 million and expand it for them. We've got 5 million. So we want to put six zeros in comma zero 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 now we're looking at this expanded form when you break down these numbers by place value we've got six hundred thousand zero 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 thank you sir thank you mr mancini have a great night uh mr mancini just sent me uh, something all right we sh sharing is caring and then we've got 40,000 so we're gonna go four zero comma zero zero and zero <clears throat> I'm having a little bit of trouble with my digital pen and then we've got 9,000 so I'm gonna do a comma zero 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 so when you're doing expanded form you are doing the value of the digit times that place value like we did here in this slide. Just think of it like this. So 1 million is the 1 times the 1 million. 600,000 is the 6 times the 100,000. Just kind of taking it one step further and breaking it up this way. So the next slide <clears throat> is really, this is the final slide because the next, the next real activity is it's time for you guys to do some work. You'll probably do some of these questions I kind of glazed over uh, or slides that I've skipped. Don't forget, you've got that Mr. Goldstein challenge at the beginning somewhere with the candy issue. All right, see if you can figure that out. That'll be fun. <clears throat> and then uh, look for an opportunity to, uh, to meet with your small groups and your teacher and maybe get some extensions and 
and reteaches in there. Have a great day, fifth grade. Thanks for tuning in to lesson 1.2. Keep up the wonderful.